recall we took the windlass apart back in February. All the bronze bits had lost their chrome and it was looking a little tired so we shipped all the parts away to a chroming shop to get recoded. Although the motor and transmission didn't look very good, when we got it back from the starter and alternator shop they gave it a clean bill of health. We've got everything back at the boat now. All the parts are assembled and cleaned and ready to go, and we have a plan of action. Let's see if we can get this thing installed. So I'm going to be getting my exercise today. Uh, we've got to crawl into the anchor locker and reinstall that windlass. The motor and gearbox have been gone over, and everything has been re-chromed. And i got a new set of clutch plates here. Lots of bling. So uh, today's the day. It's a little warm out there, but uh, I'm going to go for it and see if we can't get this thing installed. Getting closer. I'm assembling this, I'm putting a little bit of lithium grease just to make it go together nicer and to help with corrosion too, I suppose. When they chrome this, sometimes the chrome makes things a little thick, so it'll go on, it'll go together nicer. I put a bit of grease on it. There it is there. These are the new uh, clutch discs. Very expensive. They fit on there perfectly. Then this guy goes in. So put a little bit of lithium there as well. You don't want to get any grease on those clutch surfaces. Just a little bit inside. on the bottom there. Clutch pad. This guy goes here. That guy goes there. There we go. So, what do you think Molly? He looks awesome. Think it's done? I think so, hopefully. <laughs> it's been a long day. 
I'm gonna do that yet. Still can't find my tool. What's that? The tool that does that. Oh. There's a special tool for that. Yeah, and it just looks like a handle with two little things in it. Yeah. I've seen it before. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's gone. But anyway. Walk of shame. Well, we had a heck of a day yesterday. Uh, I think we tried to rewire that windlass half a dozen times in and out of that locker forward. Uh, it's quite a uh, quite a thing to get my body in there. I have to be contortionist. Anyway, we're all set uh, to go back in again. I went home and read the manual. If all else fails read the manual and uh, we're ready to go now I, I know what I've uh, what I've done wrong I know the error of my ways so anyway we're gonna have it going in just a moment stand by Well, I made it out. Uh, I think I got three more trips into that, uh, but we, uh, I, I dropped a nut, and uh, so anyway, I've gone through all of my bits and my spares and stuff down here, and uh, just to find the one nut that I've lost, it's it fell into the chain somewhere. I just can't get my hands on it. So this should work, so let's go topside and we'll give it a try. goodness sake. This one's worn out, so I can't do the wood with it anymore, but it's still good enough to do the bottom with, so as I move my way down the boat, I use the old pads for doing the bottom. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> because stones are expensive. of steps I failed to mention here just before you start your sanding clean the boat really well so clean it with soap and water and then allow that to dry and then the next step would be to clean it with a product like this now this is a naphtha based product but Epiphanis sell this as their cleaner clean the boat with this prior to it and then clean the boat again just before you paint
Well, here we are. This is the third day of sanding. Uh, it's it's a it's a huge job, and uh, the 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 big struggle is not getting discouraged as I move my way through it. Um, I have this entire side yet to do it. It'll probably be uh, another two days after this before I'm done. You got to think about it like you're eating an elephant. You can't have it all in one sitting. You have to sort of ease your way through it. And don't make the end product the goal, but make the day's work the goal. And uh, that way it becomes a lot more enjoyable and, and a lot more doable. I really think there's nothing we can't do uh, if we put our minds to it. And if uh, you're doing a job like this, especially on your own, it can seem a little bit daunting. But just go slow and take your time. It'll be beautiful. Just so everyone's aware, this is the guest cabin that he's working on. <laughs> yeah, if you happen to be staying here, there is a chance of fire. <laughs> Talk to me.